What's going on, YouTube? Glad to be back today, and we're going to be talking about my favorite in-ears that I use on a daily, nightly basis, KZ in-ear monitors. We're going to be talking about why I think that they might be the best option for many of you due to a couple of reasons. I think that they come in at a fantastic price point. They also are very comfortable and customizable to your needs, and also they sound fantastic. Before we go into more detail, I wanted to get a few words from my bandmates just so that you can see what other musicians are saying about KZ in-ears. I like them for vocals, for singing they're nice, nice mid-range. Clear sound, man, I mean bass. I love a lot of bass and the drums are very clear and I can feel the music. Take, move your 64 audio ears for a second. <laughs> I wonder if you can call me out on that. <laughs> <laughs> you should go buy yourself a pair of KZs if you're a working musician or even a hobbyist. Definitely great for the audiophile. I believe the sound is terrific for the money. You know, I don't think there's really much else on the market like it that sounds like it. First, let's start off with price. So I currently rotate between two pairs of KZ in-ear monitors. These right here are the ZAS and these right here are the ZAX. Both feature eight drivers. That's one dynamic driver per ear and seven balanced armatures. KZ's come in at a lot of different price points. You can find KZ's for as low as $25 for some of their three balanced armature setups, their triple drivers, and you can also spend as much as $150 for their 24 driver setup. And I have not used those, but uh, I haven't used those because I've been so happy with, with these in-ears right here. And these in-ears cost, these are $65 and these are $75. So you really cannot beat the price and the sound that you're getting from those. Let's talk about the customization. There's a lot of different options for customizing your in-ears to make them fit for you. The two main things that I like to do to my in-ears when I'm customizing them is I get these tips right here. These are called newbie tips and they are fantastic. A lot of people use comply tips, but I noticed that these tips are just as good and they fit great on the in-ear and they also feel fantastic. And then this pack of six right here is only $6.99. Now that being said, it comes with three sizes, two pairs of each size. I only use the large and the medium. So the smalls, I don't, I don't get a whole lot of use out of them, but still getting four pairs of usable buds and only paying $6.99 for them, these are the best you can you can get. Aside from that, I also customize my in-ears with upgraded cables. Now, every set of KZ in-ear monitors come with, obviously, tips and a cable. But the tips are those, you know, those gel tips. Those I like the foam tips. I prefer foam tips with my in-ears. They give you a better seal. The cable, though, the cables on, on the in-ears that come with it work just fine. But I like to have a little bit of a thicker gauge cable. And you can get these cables uh, with different types of ear gathers and such. So just having the option to find these uh, different cables as you would like is, is fantastic. These cables cost anywhere from $10 to $20. So this set of in-ears right here that I'm, I'm dangling in front of you right now cost all together with the tips, with the cable, and the price of the buds. I'm just in at about $90.00. And for 90 bucks, I've been using these in-ears for two years now, nightly. They're fantastic. All right, now that we got through all that, the main thing that I want to talk about is the sound of the different monitors. So when you look up KZ in-ear monitors on Amazon, you're going to be overwhelmed with different variations. You've got the ZSTs, you got the ZS10 Pros, you got the AS10s, you've got the ZAX, the ZAS, the AST24s. It may seem redundant, but they all serve a very specific purpose, and that purpose is not so clear to find. Fortunately for you, I have tried them all. The first ones that I tried were the AS10s, and currently my piano player is using those. His name is Mario, and he loves those. When I first put those in-ears in, and I'm, I'm so grateful that that was my introduction to KZ in-ears because... It was very impressive. I put the in-ears in and the sound stage, that's what I noticed about these in-ears compared to like Shure SC535s like I was using before or just like some other universal fit IEMs that you can purchase. 
the soundstage of the AS10s were huge. I put these in-ears in, and I just knew that what I was listening to, I was at a gig, and it took it from my initial mix, and it just made everything feel bigger. And it also sounded crisper. It also sounded punchier. And I just couldn't believe how it sounded, considering that those AS10s were only costing like 35 40 bucks. So that's when I was hooked. I didn't own those AS10, so I had to buy my first set. The first set that I bought were the ZS10 Pros. Now, the ZS10 Pros are five driver per ear with one dynamic driver. You want a dynamic driver if you're a bass player or a drummer, or if you're somebody who just really appreciates a punchy, defined low end. With a dynamic driver, it really just beefs up the sound. So the AS10s that I had before did not have a dynamic driver in them. So when, I, when I've got my first pair of KZ ZS10 Pros with the four balanced armatures and one dynamic driver per ear creating five drivers per ear, I was astonished because it took the AS10s and just gave it basically more low end. Now, that being said, there was a little less of the soundstage, which did not hurt my feelings. Uh, I... I felt like I had a little bit more of a tighter mix. It was more of a compressed mix, and it was easier for me to focus in on the things that I was trying to listen to. Fast forward a couple of months, I decided I wanted to try some more, and that's when I bought the next pair. I bought the ZAX. These right here are the KZ ZAX in your monitors, and I have used these the longest out of all of them. And I would argue that these are probably my favorite. I guess I don't have to argue on what my favorite is because that would be arguing with myself. These are eight drivers per ear, still having a dynamic driver in each ear and then seven balanced armatures. But the way that they have those drivers ported, it's the smoothest sounding in-ear I've ever listened to. So I will say the ZS10 Pros are a little bit punchier and might be a little bit more impressive to someone who wants a really kicking low end but me being a musical director being a singer a bass player having to listen to all aspects of the mix while I'm performing I would say that the ZAX is the perfect fit for me they, they sound phenomenal every night a lot of my bandmates are using another pair called the ZAS and that's what I have right here these are the ZAS KZ ZAS and they are also eight drivers per ear, except for the balance armatures are ported differently, which creates a different frequency response. Um, not going to go too deep into that, but essentially there's more mid-range in these in-ear monitors, the ZAS, than the ZAX. And that mid-range really makes it easy for you to get a nice vocal mix. When you're singing on stage, if you don't have some extra mid-range, it, it's easy for you to lose your vocal or feel like you're having to turn it up and it's overpowering the other instruments once you do that. When you when you use these, that's not the case. These are the best in-ears for singing that I've ever used. They're punchy, they're clear, they're crisp. That being said, I typically only use these at my extra gigs. I like to use them out in public because when I'm out at other gigs, that's where I do the majority of my singing. At the theater I work at, I only sing harmony on a handful of songs. I don't need to hear my vocal as crucially as I do at other gigs. So basically, if you are in the market for some in-ears and you're on a budget, KZ in-ears are the best way to go. And just to simplify what I've said in this video, if you just want something that sounds great and you want a big soundstage, go with the AS10s. If you want something that sounds great with a punchy low end, get the ZS10 Pros. If you want something that's smooth and hears the whole mix nice and, and smooth and really balanced, get the ZAX. And if you're a singer who wants to make sure that you have plenty of mid-range so that you can hear your vocal, get the ZAS. I have links to everything I've talked about in this video right here in the description, and if you purchase anything from those links, it will help this channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Goodbye.